Hi all, Craig and Latte here. It's that time again where I bring you my tips, facts, or experience that you may or may not find helpful. Whether you're a collector, a gold maker, or just a completionist, at some point you may dip into professions. With 14 different professions that include 8 crafting, 3 gathering, and 3 secondary, as well as several different expansions, all of which are treated separately. One fact remains the same. You will need to level your professions before you can really use them. Even if you're a veteran player, digging into how to level your professions blindly can be a bit confusing, or at the very least, costly. I've had to level my professions multiple times over the years, both from swapping professions and adding in new characters to cover every profession in my roster. With that in mind, I can totally understand the pains of starting fresh. I have been asked many times to make profession leveling guides for you all, and I completely understand. It'd be nice to have a guide. But the fact of the matter is, I use a guide myself! WowProfessions.com is a fabulous website that covers how to level every profession, and even has gathering farming roots. Let's take a look at how this makes my profession leveling so easy. I'll walk you through it. First, since the steps will be roughly the same for everyone, pick any profession you want. Leveling gathering professions is really straightforward, so I'm going to cover how to follow the crafting guides in this video. Then, choose the expansion you want to level first. Do this both in-game and on the website. I recommend doing this on higher level characters just because it makes sure you have access to all the content you need. Now, if you've not touched your professions at all, you're going to have to learn each expansion section of your profession separately by going to that expansion's trainer somewhere in its correlating zones. But don't worry if that's kind of confusing. You don't have to do all that for all of them up front. Just pick one for now. It's so much easier to do this in bite-sized chunks. Now, the website here will tell you where that trainer is. Some of these locations can be a bit obscure, like the Pandaria ones, so make sure you pay attention. But before we go to that trainer, you're going to need materials if you're doing a crafting profession. So right now, you need to decide if you want to level your gathering professions first to get the materials you need, or if you're going to just buy them all off the auction house. And a bonus tip on crafting materials now, all of those are sold region-wide on the auction house. So prices are a lot lower than they used to be, and supply should now not be an issue regardless of your server. That makes this so much easier because personally, I don't really like gathering. I get bored. So I just buy everything. If you're in that same camp as me, grab some gold and head to the auction house because here's the best part. The website guide has a materials list for you with approximate amounts since it has specific crafting paths laid out for you. So we can just buy everything we need all up front. This is like my favorite part. So this list here, buy or farm, everything it tells you that you need. Once you have bought all the materials from your list, now get yourself over to that expansion's trainer. The guide should tell you where they are if you don't already know. Once there, learn your profession and begin following the next steps in the guide. Each section of the guide will tell you what to craft, how many to craft, and what level your profession should be for each section. Make sure you read the notes for each section because some professions have RNG elements in them. So you may need more materials if you're unlucky. But also, the writer here is really good at noting anything quirky you should know. Like some of them even want you to buy profession recipes from other trainers. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. And that really is honestly the gist of it. Get all the materials you need according to the provided crafting list. Follow your instructions to get to your specific trainer, and then follow the crafting path here in the guide that it has laid out for you. It's super clear and super easy to follow, and as far as I can tell, the writer has tried to make sure we take the cheapest path of least resistance. Obviously, once you've completed that expansion for your profession, you can just move on to the next part. Just do that until you're complete, and hey! Your profession is ready to go! Thanks, WoW Professions, you make this a no-brainer. And there we have it. If you think I've misinformation or you want to request I do a specific guide, 
let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.